Well, it's another glorious summer's day here at Stowe Hill, and here comes Per Ardua. She's a 60-foot traditional stern narrowboat. She was built in 2000 by Coalcraft as a sailaway, and then she was further fitted out by Dean Werry. She was last blacked in October 2019. She was shot blasted back to metal and had two pack epoxy put on, so that's good for a few years. Four new anodes were put on at the same time. The engine was last serviced in 2019, but it's only done about 20 hours since then. She handles quite nicely. Reasonable size hatch at the back, there's Per Ardua, that's Latin for Per Ardua. Quite a nice light boat inside, good big windows. The gas bottles are in the forward locker there, there's two of those, 13 kilos. And the water tank is underneath the well deck. I don't know the capacity, it's integral, that was repainted in October 2019. Stable doors at the front here, they're glazed, so you can shut the bottom halves. And then we go, she's fitted out in painted ply with some wood effect liner below the gunnels here in the saloon. The saloon's massive, it's uh, 16 feet 10 inches long, there's a 40 inch television there on the wall. There's a sort of storage shelf or Working shelf there with storage underneath. There's storage under that step. There's a view into the well deck. That's three feet eight inches long. And a little cupboard here in the corner. This sofa's a sofa bed. It's massive, actually. It's six feet... Uh, how long was it? It's six and a half feet long, I think. There's a stove there. That's a more-so squirrel. It's got a back boiler. That's the central heating. Um, runs off the back boiler. There's one radiator and one heated towel rail on board. Solid fuel, not diesel. Nice side hatch with a roof hatch. The steps up as well to get out of there easily. And here's the breakfast bar. It's a good sized cupboard underneath. It's three bar stools. And the galley itself, again, is a good size, 9 feet 11 inches long. Here's the gas hob, a three burner gas hob. Three drawers underneath, a big pan one at the bottom. And cupboards under the sink area. There's a reasonable amount of storage on this boat, actually. Stainless steel sink there with a draining sink next to it. There's a filtered drinking water tap there on the left. Some nice lights over. And there's the microwave oven, and that's a gas oven. It's a Dometic gas oven that was brand new in October last year, 2020. The washing machine is under here. You just pull out that table, and it's sat under the worktop. It's a Beco 6 kilo. On the other side, here's the fridge. It's a 230 volt indesit with an ice box. And that's the view down the galley. So uh, the floor on the boat is oak effect laminate in the saloon. There's a vinyl in the kitchen and solid hardwood in the bedroom. So when we go, it's a walk through bathroom. There's a the heated towel rail I mentioned. It's a ceramic sink. There's a Houdini hatch in here. All the lighting, by the way, is LED on the boat and head height is six foot six. The loo is a Thetford cassette. There's one spare cassette on board and a very good size quadrant shower. That's tiled. There's a light over in that as well. And some shelves just between the shower and the side of the boat there. Bedroom's enormous. 12 feet 6 inches long. It's a freestanding shelving unit there. The bed itself is 6 foot 2 by 4 foot wide. Storage under the bed. And some shelves at the end of it there. On into the rear cabin, the engine's under here, it's a Beta Marine 43. There's so many batteries on this boat, there's six domestics, there's four of them there, 
There were five of them there, and then two on the left. Six domestics, 110 amp hours each, and one starter. That gives you your 12 volts and 230 volts on the boat. There's a 600 watt inverter. There's a landline, and there's also a three and a half kilowatt travel power generator for 230 volts. And that's the view from the helmsman's position. There's the instruments. There's the travel power generator. The hot water tank, by the way, is in that little um, boxed unit under the travel power generator. Hot water, while I'm on the subject, is heated by the engine and there is an immersion heater on board. Let's have another walk, walk back through the boat. There's an awful lot of space on this boat. It feels very roomy. Very nice and light in the forward end here with the big windows. Fuel tank we estimate is 150 litres. And that's per ardua. There's a gallery of further photographs, a fully downloadable colour spec and the brochure and the price of course on our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.